All right, so we are getting started here. We are in the front yard, like I was talking about. Um, I've been working with Matt um, in my front yard here and letting him, you know, see him do his thing. So you're going to see a lot of this kind of stuff. Hold on. There we go. You're going to see. Let me just go ahead and put this. So for this one, let's go ahead and save ourselves a lot of trouble. Let's just clip this one to the back since he's doing recoil work. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to show you very simply what dog priming is, if I haven't already, when he was a big time pup. So we got a young lawn truck coming by. Sit. Okay, about high street. This is a cross street. A lot of people just come past over here, so there's a lot of opportunity to work on. So let's work on our priming. Priming is just what I did right there. Did you hear me make that quick noise? If you didn't, rewind it. That's his positive interrupter that he learned this is a pup. And what I'm doing is I'm getting him to just know what the rules are. Okay, just know what's expected of him. That's it. Getting him ready, getting him in the zone. And so what I'm going to show you is just the beginnings of recall, which is eye contact. Remember nose, eyes, and ears. Go back and watch that video from when he was a kid training beginnings and then what I'm going to do is his release is going to be okay oh that's my fault here it is dropped it all right so then what you do after he's primed and ready you know really what you can and what I really recommend doing and I would probably do this if I wasn't recording a video you can get a chair and just sit with him for a bit work them on touch good boy so see, it's a medium threshold area. Dogs do walk by. People do drive by. The lawn truck is coming by again. I'm gonna wait for a captured behavior. He's looking for more treats. See if anything go. There we go. To so capture those behaviors. So he's already starting to do the things that we really want him to be doing. Great. So we're gonna have some yard work. Um, just a little bit down the way. So let's go ahead and just start working on the over here. And then what I can do is I can move down to just a little bit down the street. Good. So we always work on that touch targeting right there. Sit. Good. Take that pregnant pause there. Yes. Good. And this is just a training tool. I'll show you at a park on probably Monday, because um, I want to take it a little bit further. So I might, I might do a double training video on Monday. Touch. Good. So see right there, he's starting to work on that recall. And, and this is what's gonna do, is gonna switch the game up for him. And so see, he's following me. Good, so this is just communication. This is good, I can even just drop the leash. Good, so he can have a sense of freedom. He can understand what's expected of him. Hey! So he hears people talking. This is great for him right now. Getting out of their vehicle. Touch! Good. And when he does that, so what you're going to start doing is when he starts getting in that evasive mode, whether if it's inside or outside, you know, you know, I, I, I get it. You know, we're going to be chasing our dogs at certain times. You know, I get it. Know, but um, what I try to do in those moments right there is just wait on him, like inside with the leash or with by the rug. I just wait. He comes back. I don't even really have to use treats too much. Come here. All right, somebody's about to walk by. Let's have a nice little test for him here. Touch. Good boy. Touch. Good boy. Uh-uh, nope, quiet. Come back. Good, good boy. Nice work. See? Great example right there. Great example. Come here. Good. Just keep it walking. Keep it moving around. Look, we're, we're not in a very big area. We don't have to be. Good. Yes, 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 sir. Good boy. See, I'm just interacting with him. Touch. Touch is good. So he's, he's got that stay down. Great. All right. 
right? So let's, let's take it even a little bit further here. What's something else you can do? Sit, stay, down. Okay, so stay. I'm not gonna let him go until he has a release word. Let's say he breaks, I'm just gonna reinforce and have him sit. Map. Huh? Sit. Down. Stay. Touch. Excellent. That's what you want right there. That's amazing. Excellent work. So good. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I'm, I'm loving it so much I can even like look into the camera and not be super worried. Achoo. 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 Excuse me. Capture that behavior. Find it. So he's going to love puzzles. He's also going to love a find it game. I kind of want you to work on that stuff with him too. Um, what we do with find it, sit, stay. I'll just do it right here since he's doing so well. You can do all this stuff. And this is still recall. This is still recall. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, sit, stay. I'm going to show him what I want. Good. Rest, wait for him to deploy, wait for him to come back. Stay. So he's right here. Simple form first. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. So that's accountability. That's what I'm going to talk about right there. And that's simple stuff. Keep it simple. Let's not overthink it. Find it. Find it. Find it. Yeah, find it. Good boy. Good boy. Find it. See him looking around? Find it. Can I help him a little bit? Find it. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Let's do it again. Sit. Stay. Find it. Find it. Find it. Yes, good boy. Find it. Good find it. Find it. He's close. He's very warm. Yeah, good find it. Good boy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And so we just change the context of this space for him. See right here? Recall I'm moving around, getting him moving. You can do this in your backyard around the area that you were talking about this morning. It's a little intense. I love this. I love this. I love this. I love this kid. He's really, really coming around. But, I mean, look, we have a lot of dogs that come through that really overcome a lot of hurdles. You know, a lot of the things that we do overcome is not as intense and as, as serious as it may seem at first. Or the other way around. It seems more serious at first. And then they really start to come around. The demand barking. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a big behavior. He's extinguishing that. The door stuff. He's extinguishing it. I'm helping him mature at this point. Touch. That's what I want him to do. Oh, find it. Find it. Oh, see, look at that. Good. Find it. He goes right back to it. Very proud of that. I love that. So see, this recall leash is amazing. Come on. Now, I am not somebody who I will only take. Hey, uh-uh. The boundary right here. I will only take Rigby off leash if we're just like going to the car. Okay, I trust him for that. Other than that, I never have him on leash. So this isn't to get you to the point, uh -huh, come on, where he's just off leash. So I don't really recommend that too much. He says, I'm done. We're gonna wind it down here in a second, touch. Um, but um, this is gonna help really, really just hone that communication a lot better in a higher threshold area. So, you know, doing this in three different spots would be really good for you. You know, maybe in front of your home, in your backyard, maybe even at, you can take it to a coffee shop, wherever it is you like to go, a park, whatever. That's all good. Nice. You just wait and sit in those moments together. Good boy. And so the biggest things, you know, just to kind of re, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not regroup, reiterate everything that I was talking about. The main things you're going to need. Step one, priming, eye contact. I'm going to demonstrate that again. Yes. I look away. I look away. Take a deep breath. Yes. Good boy. So 
free call. Now that he's ready. Come on. We can move around together. Yeah, he said I'm ready to go in. It's hot. He's tired. I know. I know. We're almost done. I know you've been working hard today. Come on, get him to come touch. Work on that touch targeting, okay? Drop that leash. Hold on to it. And walk around him. Work on your luring. Continue to get that really strong. You can use treats. You know, that that's going to help be helpful. Um, but, you know, you don't have to use them every single time. One minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. That's what I tell people. I usually work off and on for about two full, solid, uninterrupted hours with dogs. Um, and then just whatever comes around. Yeah. So, so for him now, because he's getting tired, we're working with him. You can also do the find it game. That's really fun. You saw a really great example of that. Um, you can get him into a down and a stay. With a touch. Good. But only really call touch and use it potently like that. Only call him if you know that he's going to come. So if he's on the recall leash. Touch. Good. See there? And I use my crab hands. So I think that should be helpful. That's going to be your last little step. So you can do this just for a few minutes. Walk around and this kind of stuff is really wonderful. Touch. Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Pull through. It's my dogs. They just got up from their nap. Sit. Sit. Give me one last sit. Give me one last sit. Accountability. Work through it. that like testing limits um stuff um but we're very tired so we'll let you go um we love him to pieces though take care mav and i are very tired I'll, I'll show you some stuff inside tomorrow about testing his limits and what to do and how to hold him accountable a little further but this is a great start